Hi again, I'm Dylan Black. Welcome to Daytime Ottawa right here on Rogers TV. Uh, the lineup is out. RBC Blues Fest, the 25th anniversary is coming this summer. We're looking forward to that uh, with us right now to give us all the details. It's uh, Allison Oshala with us, uh, the marketing manager. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. RBC Blues Fest, 25 years in already. That's a quarter of a century. Right, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. So, thanks. Uh, can we go back 25 years, though? You haven't been with the organization for that long. Not quite that long. I've only been there yeah. for 10 years. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's a great history. Do you think Mark uh, Monaghan ever thought it would go 25 years when he first when he had the first one? You know, I think he probably hoped that it did. And, um, you know, anything that Mark sets his mind to, uh, tends to, to do well. So I think probably he had some idea that yeah. he had a great thing. Yeah. How many people do you think have gone through the gates in the first 24 years? Oh my goodness. So I'm going to say average, uh, you know, in the in the most recent years, you know, over 300,000 attendees. Wow. So t yeah. So, you know. Millions. Yeah, millions. Is the answer. Millions, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, before we get to the lineup, uh, some of your highlights, because mm -hmm. we are celebrating 25 years. Yeah. Some of the highlights that you would like to talk about? Uh, from the past 25 yeah. years, I would say probably my biggest highlight would be uh, Alice Cooper was one of my favorite yeah. shows. Grew up listening to Alice Cooper with my dad and... Yeah, really just a, a great show and a great guy all around. So that's really my, my top Yeah, that was it. I yeah, remember I remember when it. Kiss was here. Kiss uh, was great. I've had a chance to emcee some of these big shows, Blue Rodeo and Donna Summer yeah. and Brett Eldridge. It's it's exciting. Uh, people look forward to this. Where would you like to begin? Oh, uh, <laughs> the lineup. let's start with, yeah, let's start with the headliners, I okay. guess. I mean, if you just look at the, you know, first couple of lines, there's a little bit of something for everyone. Everything from, you know, the Killers to Eric Church to Kygo and then, you know, of course, Buddy Guy, who's, mm -hmm. you know, one of, um, yeah, one of the legendary blues artists. He played way back in 1995 as well, so great to have have him back as well. He's coming back. People knew about the Backstreet Boys yes. uh, since I guess the, the Christmas season. Yeah. That is going to be a big night. That'll be a huge night. Going to be uh, a great way to to uh, you know showcase sort of some of the nostalgia you know acts that we've got sort of running throughout the lineup as well with our 25th anniversary so mm -hmm. yeah it's going to be a big show speaking of nostalgia so america is coming mm -hmm. as well of course with no name yeah 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 there's a little bit of every something for everyone really would you consider uh snoop dog being nostalgia at this point yeah i mean <laughs> snoop dog has been at the festival a number of times, of times so yeah, yeah absolutely i mean you think a lot of people will have been there to see him before and kind of relive those those memories. I yeah. believe one year he even came out with the Senator's jersey on. Yeah, he did. Uh, ho yeah. Hopefully he'll still do that, but he just better not look at the, the, the rankings first. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. See how they did this year. <laughs> Be a um, game day decision. <laughs> game day decision. Uh, local is something, Canadian is something that you guys pride mm -hmm. yourself on as well. So would you like to highlight some of the, yeah. the names that are going to be performing? Yeah, sure. So we've got um, some great Canadian acts like Alexis on Fire and the Sheepdogs. Um, and then, of course, lots of local artists. So that's a big part of, you know, what we do. We received uh, close to 700 local artist applications this mm. year, which is a huge huge jump from um, other years so we got about 400 last year so a huge number of local artists applying and lots of great talent so um, there's lots there we've got everyone from black denim uh, to Ellie Gadzos who's um, mm -hmm. last year's winner of our she's the one female emerging artist contest winner mm -hmm. so there's a lot of really great up-and-coming local artists so speaking of that uh, the she's the one talent contest that mm -hmm. happens usually happens on like a Saturday afternoon yeah. or, uh, at Barney Dance and Theater that's so, right. so that's still happening this it's year it's still happening we actually just opened submissions so they're open uh, now on the website so any female emerging artists out there can go and, and check that out on our website autobluesfest.ca mm -hmm. uh, how big of a panel, I guess, a selection committee is it? I believe they're at six or seven now yeah. uh, on the selection committee. Yeah. So, so it's got to be difficult to narrow it down. It's and so hard. There's so much talent out there. It really is. Yeah. Okay. So, so sometimes people talk about security measures because mm -hmm. you said 350,000 ish people show up. So that's a lot of one people in one area at mm -hmm. La Breton Flats. Yeah. So, uh, are there new developments this year? So, uh, we had some new developments last year. We changed the way our gates ran and some of the security measures that we put in place last year. So nothing really new to add on to from last year. Um, but of course, security is always, at, you know, top of mind. Like you said, when you're, you know, you've got that many people in a, in a small area. So always something that we're, you know, trying to improve on. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Does it take a long time to book these acts? Because when you're when you're dealing with with headliners such as the Backstreet Boys mm -hmm. and, and the big names you've had in the past, yeah. 
Uh, Mark and the team are probably working on it for years. All year, all year. They're they're really as soon as you know that one's over, they're starting again for the next year. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's like a big puzzle, you know, trying to fit everything in and. Yeah, so would you say you've process. already even got some names solidified for 2020? Ooh, um, that I don't know, but anything is possible. <laughs> you wouldn't tell us anyway, anything though, right? Anything is Just possible. Just trying to break some news here, right? <laughs> uh, are there more uh, names possibly to be announced? There's always, always a possibility mm -hmm. that there could be more. Because yeah. I know you, you, you guys seem to do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. that maybe there's a few holes, some gaps, and then yeah. all of a sudden, guess what? And then, bang, there's a big uh, name that's added. We've been known to throw a few surprises in there, mm -hmm. so you never know. Speaking of dates, so if people are trying to figure out exactly when, say the Backstreet Boys are going to be playing right. or, or, or America or Snoop Dogg, right. any of these bands. Yeah. Do you have specific dates already planned out? So um, that all that information, all those details will be announced on Friday. So right now we're just selling full festival uh, passes starting on Thursday at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, and then Friday all of the day passes and other ticket types go on sale. So all of that, you know, by day information will be on the website on Friday. Okay. How many full day passes will you have available? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm sorry, I so can't lots, tell you that. Lots, yeah, I'm lots, sure. Yeah, for, lots. Enough for everybody. Uh, blues in the schools, of course, something yeah. very important to you. Yeah, absolutely. So another one of our community programs, and actually this week is the uh, wrap-up week for a lot of the schools, and so there's a lot of great presentations going on this week from everything that they've worked on um, in that program. Uh, and we've just seen so much talent come out with these these kids, and they just love it, and it's been it's been a really, really great program. Mm -hmm. Such an amazing, uh, uh, I mean, it's it's voted one yeah. of the best uh, festivals in the world. Yeah, one correct? of the top ten in the world. Wow. Yeah, pretty That's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, Pre-sale, as you mentioned, goes on sale Thursday, yep, uh, tomorrow, which is great. And uh, this whole lineup, all these stars, July 4th to 14th at the Breton Flats. And, of course, more details can be found at ottawabluesfest.ca. Look forward to seeing you there. Thanks. It's going to be a, be a lot time. of uh, fun. Snoop Dogg and all these Amazing. Thank okay. you so much, uh, Allison, from RBC Blues Fest. We're looking forward to that with great anticipation. More daytime coming up in moments. I'm Dylan Black. It's Rogers TV.